Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good morning. Happy 4th of July. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Showers and storms are likely for this morning. So any outdoor festivities for the 4th of July are going to be a little iffy all the way through the midday hours. The biggest question mark for today is uh, whether or not we'll see redevelopment of the storms in the late afternoon to the evening hours. That is looking less likely as of this point in time. However, if we did see those, they could be severe. And here comes the heat and humidity, especially tomorrow. It's going to be dangerously hot and humid, and that will set the stage for more storms coming into Tuesday and Wednesday. But here's what we've had so far this morning. A big cluster of showers and storms working its way through Iowa, moving into our western counties as of 7 a.m. The leading edge showing uh, most of the strongest storms, but nothing severe. Is good news. I think the severe threat is low for this morning, but we will not avoid the heavy rainfall and a little bit of lightning as well. We do have uh, some steady moderate showers on the back side of that line. There may be some embedded thunderstorms on the far back edge already starting to clear out of places like Sioux City. So uh, we'll be dealing with a lot of this rain here for the morning hours. And again, the question mark will be uh, whether or not this complex of showers and storms will eat up all the energy in the atmosphere. And uh, it's possible we might not actually see any redevelopment. However, if we did, another question mark is going to be the exact timing and location of that second round of storms. If we did see them, wind and hail would probably be the main threats with a lower tornado threat overall. That being said, we will see again some dangerous heat and humidity heading into tomorrow and a level two out of five risk for severe weather, not just for today if we get redevelopment, but for tomorrow evening and then again on Wednesday. So a very active stretch of weather here the next few days. Here's future track. So the cluster of showers and storms will continue to push to the east at about 35 to 40 miles per hour and we'll likely see it pushing out to the east by about noon to 2 p.m. Maybe still some lingering cloud cover for a couple of hours after that, which again would drive down instability and would uh, allow us to avoid that second round of storms, which is what this model is showing here. Uh, I th still think we'll see some sunshine, still pretty warm and humid here for this afternoon. And uh, there you see some redevelopment, but out of our viewing area into Wisconsin. But if that happens, look at how strong that looks. So. Uh, still a slight chance for that to occur over our viewing areas, so stay weather aware here for today. Otherwise, we're going to see partly cloudy skies for this evening and tonight. Uh, this solution right here would be great for fireworks shows this evening because it doesn't show anything going on at that time. Tomorrow, still plenty of sunshine, a very hot day. And then as uh, storms redevelopment to our, uh, redevelop to our northwest tomorrow afternoon, we'll see chances going up for us in the evening hours. And obviously this looks pretty intense. So uh, some severe weather is possible tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. So uh, for today, uh, we have a level two out of five risk for severe weather. This is highly dependent on the redevelopment later on today. So this is a big question mark right now. Here's the risk for tomorrow evening. Again, that level two out of five risk for severe weather, basically area wide. We'll repeat everything for Wednesday as well. And then after that, still some elevated chances for storms on Thursday and Friday. So uh, you put all of these together through the week. We're looking at multiple inches of rainfall. Could be up to three plus inches for some spots. Really bullseyeing eastern Iowa and areas out to our east. So I don't think we really have to worry about uh, the drought too much here for this week. Uh, humidity levels are going up quite quickly. We're going to get into the mid 70s for dew points today and tomorrow, about the low 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. Very muggy air on the way. It's going to drive up our heat index, maybe up to about 100 degrees in a couple of spots today. Not very widespread, but then tomorrow, widespread 100 to 105 degree heat indices. So starting to talk about some dangerous heat there. That's why a heat advisory will go into effect from noon to 8 p.m. for uh, many areas along and south of Highway 20 for tomorrow. So if you work outside or things like that, drink plenty of water. Please be careful. Otherwise, uh, temperatures today will get into the 80s to maybe near 90 for our western counties. Um, I think most of our rain and storms, that's going to come this morning to the midday hours. Hopefully we luck out and we stay dry this evening, but it is going to be warm and humid. Lows drop down to the low and mid 70s. So if you're going to head out to the fireworks shows, um, don't really need a sweatshirt or things like that, and you probably want some bug spray as well. 
High temperatures tomorrow get deep into the 90s, in fact, the mid and upper 90s, and that's why our heat index gets so high with uh, such high humidity levels as well. Uh, most of our storms will come tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, and then uh, they should be scattered about for Wednesday, some of which could be strong to severe. Uh, still a 30% chance for storms on Thursday and Friday as the heat and humidity continues. Weekend looking dry right now, but still pretty warm, and then maybe another chance for storms on Monday.